welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today's video is one of my favorites to film. It's going to be just a really laid back and casual spring home tour. I'm just going to be walking you through my home and going over different areas, answering questions that I received in my spring decorating video, and just kind of going more into my thought process behind each space and giving tips and tricks and things like that. This video is also in collaboration with a few of my girlfriends here on YouTube who will also be doing spring home tours. They are all such amazing decorators, so if you are looking for some spring inspiration, you are definitely in the right place. And we are also giving two $175 shop credits to my friend Sky's online home decor shop. It's called House and Home. She has the most beautiful home decor and we are all just so excited to be able to give two of you a little shopping spree to decorate your home the way you want it for spring. All of the entry information will be in my description box down below as well as all of the other ladies home tours so I hope you will go check them out, subscribe, and enter the giveaway and let's go ahead and get started with the tour. Okay, well come on in. We're starting here at my entryway and this is one of my favorite spaces to decorate for each season. I'm always switching up the decor in here and I went with a very rustic garden vibe for this space as well as the rest of my home. So let me take you over and show you what I did. Starting from the top, I decided to leave this sign, may your journey always lead you home. I found that at Hobby Lobby and I just think it's so perfect here. It really warms up the space. I have this white shiplap, so I like to incorporate a lot of warm tones here. And obviously I love the saying as well. The wall sconces are from Kirkland's and I will try to link everything that I can down below. This, um, little peg rail. I actually got custom made from an Etsy shop. You can have them custom made to fit your space. I'll show you the other one that I have on my island, but I love peg rails. They're so much fun to just easily throw up a bunch of decor. For spring, I decided to keep it very simple and I use this beautiful market tote bag from Target this season. I believe it's the Threshold brand and I love this greenery that I found at Michael's. It's just so bright and green and fresh. It definitely gives me spring vibes. And then over here, I have this white pitcher with these really realistic florals that I found at Hobby Lobby. I love finding my florals at Hobby Lobby. They always have such good variety and they look very realistic. This little bunny I found at Home Goods this year and I just thought he was the cutest thing. He has a lot of texture and I just really loved the Peter Rabbit vibes that he gave this space. And then next to him, I just have a simple wire basket with these beautiful neutral colored eggs that I picked up at Michael's. They have them this season. And then over here, I have this DIY tree that I made a few months ago and all I did was just switch out the pot to this crock with a plant stand that you can pick up at Tractor Supply. And then at the bottom of the table, I put this terrarium and this beautiful cabbage pick that I found at Hobby Lobby. I thought it was just so charming and cute for spring and definitely went with my rustic garden vibe. And this other crock I also picked up at Tractor Supply. I love going to Tractor Supply for decor. You can find such cute things for great prices. Those crocks, if you were to find them at an antique store, would have been so expensive, but the one with the plant stand was $29, and I believe this one was $25, so I thought that was a great price. And the table itself is from Hobby Lobby.
right across from my entryway table is this room. My son calls it the craft room, but I suppose it could be called a sitting room or an office, but it's definitely a space that is most of the time not Pinterest perfect in our home. My kids and I spend so much time in here. Usually there's toys everywhere. So I did go in and add a couple touches of spring that I wanted to show you, but mostly I wanted to leave this room functional for our family. One of the big things that catches your eye when you first see this space is the faux brick. And I always get asked if it's wallpaper, but it's actually something that I put on myself. A lot of you, if you have been here a while, have seen my DIY faux brick tutorial, but this is made using joint compound and I do have a tutorial on it. I also have one on my Instagram saved as a story highlight. So I will go in and put that in the description box if you are interested in how I made this wall, but it was so affordable and it makes such an impact here. The other thing that makes a huge impact is this Giffen Homestead sign. I will also leave the shop where I had that custom made. One of the few touches that I added for spring in this space is this really pretty basket of lavender from Home Goods. And also I just put this set of corbels here. This is from House and Home and I think they're so pretty. I move them all around my house. The light is from Target. This beautiful little couch is an antique find. And this table I found on Wayfair. I will link it down below. And then I just layered some rugs on here. This round jute rug is from, I want to say Hobby Lobby. I got it on their spring clearance last year. And then this is a pup rug that my dog does not ever use. He's so funny. That farmhouse pillow was a gift, so I don't know where it was from. But this cabinet was from Hobby Lobby and I use it to organize all of our supplies. It's just really pretty, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have a ton of spring in here, but I just wanted to go over some of the most commonly asked questions of where I got things in this space. So let's keep on moving. I also wanted to show that I did the faux brick here on this arch and I just thought it gave our new build home a ton of character as well as the shiplap on the adjacent wall. When you walk into our main living area, the first thing you see is this beautiful hutch and I did go in and add quite a few touches for spring and Easter in here that I really love. I think it just makes everything pop. I decorated with a lot of whites so they would really pop against this dark wood and a lot of vintage antique spring items. Starting on top, I switched out the sign for this one from Kirkland's and then I added this basket here from Target. I loved it because these flowers came with it. It has a handle, so I ended up hanging it with just a thumbtack here on the door, and I think it just adds such a nice pop of spring. And then I did go in and add these cute little um, iron stone pieces. Full disclosure, when I ordered them online, I thought they were going to be full-size vases, but they came super tiny, but I thought they fit this short little shelf really good. And these cute sheep are from Michael's. And then I added just a little bit of greenery in here. I picked up quite a few of these nests from Michael's and I love going in and adding them into pottery pieces, teacups, things like that. Here I just added them into two small bowls. More bowls and pottery. This is from Michael's and I just thought it was so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I thought it looked nice in here for now. Just added some more texture and character to this space. I love this wire basket. I added these wooden eggs from the Target dollar spot with some hay and I think it looks just very farmhousey and springish. Again, I added a nest under a cloche. I love cloches. They've kind of become my new collecting item and I just think it's really fun to add pieces of seasonal decor under there. One of my favorite finds for spring and Easter this season are these rabbits. They definitely look like something you would find at an antique store, but I found them at Hobby Lobby and I just love the way they popped against this dark wood. And then over here, I switched out my normal basket and pillow that I usually have on this stool 
for this hearth and hand watering can and also these really pretty florals from Threshold. I just love the color and I thought they looked so perfect in this watering can. For my dining room and kitchen area, I wanted to keep things really bright and airy and still going with that vintage rustic garden vibe. So I'll walk you through everything that I added and I love this little section over here. So let's start there. Two of my favorite things to decorate seasonally are right here on this wall. The first is the hanging scale and the other one is this ladder that I picked up from Kirkland's. So we'll start with a scale and I will link it down below as well as the ladder. But in here, I just did another one of those nests with some wooden eggs and I just love the way it looks. It definitely brings me spring vibes. And over here, I just use these little S hooks to hang decor. This is what they look like. You can find them on Amazon and I will have them linked to the exact ones that I use but mostly on here it looks like i used just decor pieces that i picked up from hobby lobby i hung this really cute little lavender bunch here and then i just layer dish towels and cutting boards just for texture this galvanized metal piece is from Hobby Lobby as well. I love the watercolor print of this dish towel and just thought it really tied in a lot of the colors that I was decorating in my home for spring. And then this cute little watering can as well is from Hobby Lobby. And over here is my pantry. I don't really have much going on here for spring. I do have uh, some dried eucalyptus in a white pitcher. You can never go wrong with that for any time of year, but especially spring. And then I have some faux thyme in a galvanized bucket here. And over here is yet another peg rail that I like to switch up for each season. Right now I just have some copper pieces that I thought looked really pretty with a wreath and some brushes and a dish towel. Up here are these wooden carrots that I found this year at Home Goods. I thought they were so charming and went with my rustic garden theme. And inside this basket is just some greenery from Hobby Lobby and this basket is also from Hobby Lobby this season. And over here, I have this really cute sign again from Hobby Lobby. I did have it hanging, but it fell down. So this is what it looks like though. I think it's so cute. I love the little shiplap and this cute little hopping bunny detail. I thought it looked really nice in my kitchen and just tied in the whites and the blacks. And one of my favorite little touches in my kitchen is this dried lavender that I found at Home Goods. I just put it in this crock. And of course, I always have these eggs sitting out over here next to my KitchenAid, but they look especially good this time of year. And I like to keep my countertops for the most part pretty minimal, but I do have um, this little section over here where I added this really cute floral from Target. It was only $5 and I thought it just looked really cute over here and brightened up this corner. And I almost forgot here on top of my fridge, I wanted to add a little texture, so I just put a basket. This other crock is from Tractor Supply, and I'm using more of that greenery that I got from Target, and I just think it really brightens up that space and it looks pretty. I also love adding a cute seasonal dish towel here by my sink, and this one is from the Target Dollar Spot and was just so cute and perfect for Easter. Another simple way to bring some spring into your kitchen is to switch up some seasonal soap. This one is a lavender scent from Trader Joe's and it smells so good and looks really pretty here for spring. 
The real star of this space whenever I have it out is my three-tiered tray. I love this one because it's white and black, so it allows me to go in and add a lot of pops of color so I can use it for almost any season. And this one, again, I went with that gardeny vibe, and I was so inspired by these moss rabbits that they had at the Target dollar spot. And one of my favorite things that I used for this are these little terracotta pots. And I did do a tutorial on these over on my Instagram. It's saved as a story highlight. So if you wanna see how I aged these to look like this very textured brown color, I will leave my handle here so you can go and check that out. I purchased this small and medium sized terracotta pot from the Dollar Tree, but they are kind of a peachy pink texture and color, which just didn't go with my color scheme. So if you like this brown, definitely head over to my Instagram and check out that tutorial. It's simple, it's affordable, and it just has such a realistic and cute look. These eggs are also from Michaels and I love the neutral color scheme and I love the little speckles on the eggs. They are just so farmhouse and neutral and exactly the vibe that I was going for. I think they sell them in a little pack for like $2.99 or something. And the greenery, let me show you up close looks like this and i found this pick at joann's and it was actually a long bloom and i just kind of tore off the pieces as i wanted to to kind of fit in all of the different pots and around the tray just to give this a bright fresh pop of color i wanted this to have a ton of greenery and i really wanted these moss bunnies to be the star of the show and then i went in and filled in any empty spaces with my pots and then from there you go in and fill in any other empty spaces with the greenery and nests and eggs and it kind of just completes the look. Now we're gonna check out my coffee bar area. This is so much fun to decorate for each season and the shelves, I always get questions where I purchased them. My husband and I actually made them ourselves. They were so affordable. We just picked up raw pieces of wood from Home Depot and they also sell brackets. And so I just stained the wood, whichever color I wanted. I went with one that kind of matched my vent hood in my kitchen. And then I spray painted the brackets black to match all of the hardware and then we just just hung them up and it's definitely one of my favorite areas to decorate so let's go check out what I did for spring. The flower bar sign is from Kirkland's last year and it definitely sets the vibe for this whole area. I went with a lot of florals and since it is part of my dining room slash kitchen area I use a lot of pottery pieces in here and for spring I chose my Ray Dunn because it's just a really clean white bright backdrop so you're able to incorporate a lot of colors and textures in with it. So that's what I did here. I added some butterflies that I picked up at Joann's to the sign and then these really pretty I believe they're peony flowers. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but some pink flowers on top for a pop of color. And then I actually used my hot glue gun to glue on some butterflies to pieces of pottery. I thought it was a cute little touch for a flower bar area. And then I went in with eucalyptus picks that I found at Tobby Lobby. I had a lot of questions about this little rocking bunny here from my spring decorating video. And he is from Michaels and luckily they do sell him again this year. And these wooden vases are from Hobby Lobby. They sell three different sizes. I have two of them here. And then down here I have more lavender in a basket from Home Goods and just kind of alternated some springy touches to all these shelves. And these bunnies are from Hobby Lobby and I just thought they were so cute, perfect for a little shelf. And right here is the table I currently have to keep my Nespresso and coffee. I do plan on switching this table out. I did find one on the Facebook Marketplace, so I'm going to be sharing how I refinish that in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. This table is definitely just old and beat up, as you can see, so I am excited to update the table here. These mugs are from House & Home. They're one of my favorites. I love the hobnail texture, they're so beautiful. And then I love these cloches that I put together. I used the purple and pink flowers that I have going on in the shelves above it just to tie everything together. And then another little nest from Michaels.
My dining room table I kept so simple just because I did feel like I had a lot going on with the shelves directly behind it, so I wanted to keep it impactful with this really pretty centerpiece but also not too cluttered here on the table so i do have these cute little charger mats that i found at home goods they're a really pretty pattern that i really love all the texture and these bunny plates are from home goods i love them this little detail around here is so cute they have this one and then this is the other little plate that i saw and they did bring those back this year which i was excited that a lot of you were able to also find and over here i picked up these florals from hobby lobby a few years ago and they've held up really well and they're so perfect for a dining room table i just used this glass vase with a little charger from home goods they have these all the time and then some moss and more of those neutral eggs from Michaels and it's a really good transitional piece. This whole tablescape can be used for spring, it can also be used for Easter and it's definitely not too much and not too cluttered so it's still functional for my family. Over here is our living room and I did keep this again kind of simple because I do have little ones and we use this area quite a lot but I will show you what I do have set up. I love this little table and on top of it is a basket that is more vintage garden vibes going on. I have more of those planters that I showed you, another one of my cloches from my collection and inside there is a target dollar spot rabbit and this little carrot that i stuck in between his paws that is from the dollar tree with some moss on the bottom this cloche is from michael's and it's on sale with their spring decor so i believe i only paid like 14 dollars for it which is a great price for what size it is and then i have this potted moss that looks so realistic from target on top of some books and my favorite little thing is this cabbage pick this is also from hobby lobby and it's so cute it's definitely spring garden vibes for sure over here in this corner and then i do have some new pillows that i thought were so pretty for spring but they can also be used all year round these are from target and they're perfect you can do the little karate chop with them so beautiful and comfortable this rabbit pillow is from home goods last year i thought it was just so darling and cute and over here i just have a small little lumbar pillow also from target again i just love the colors and the pattern i didn't go crazy and redecorate my shelves i kind of like how they look on either side of my TV. They can be a little challenging to balance, so I figured I already have them the way I like them, so I might as well just leave them alone. But over here is this really pretty hanging, um, I can't think of what it's called, but like a, you know, a hanging, I want to say tarp, but that's not the word. Let's just say a hanging piece of art here. And that was from Home Goods as well. And this beautiful, um moss greenery is from hobby lobby and then i just put some of these thresholds or i'm sorry hearth and hand daisy flowers in a basket with a lantern next to it so definitely add some spring to this corner of our living room and then i love my frame tv because i can switch out the picture for each season and i just chose one that was kind of mountainous and outdoorsy with little greenery and flowers all around i thought it was so cute for spring and over in this corner super basic i have this wooden lantern that i found antiquing it's so cute and this pillow from target this year as well very simple over here and again i'm just keeping my shelves how I have them styled just for my everyday look and I love it. 
these little topiaries I found on Amazon and I will link them down below. They're really rustic and cute, perfect for shelf styling and I always get questions about those. So I will have them linked and I did more of the faux brick inside of our faux fireplace here. And last but not least, we are up here in my bedroom and I did switch out some of my decor in here just to give it more of a spring feel. So I will walk you through that and show you what I did. So the first thing I did was add this really pretty vase also from Hearth and Hand. I love all the texture with the glass. It's so pretty. I layered that over this mirror from Target with these florals I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. And over here... I just kept it really simple. I have those arches from Hobby Lobby and the, those um, wall sconces are from, I believe those are from Home Depot. This sign I love, I keep it up all year round, but I just added some lamb's ear for spring. And my bedding is just very white, but basic and flowing. I found this textured blanket from Home Goods, and I just love it. It's so cute and cozy. I'm using my dough bowl to add these faux candles just for, I don't know, kind of a romantic feel. And this pillow is from Tractor Supply of all places, but it just has a little robin and I love the blue stripes. And yeah, nothing too crazy. I did switch out the sign here above my fireplace area for this really pretty barn. This was from Kirkland's and unfortunately I do not think they carry it anymore, but they do have really cute prints at Kirkland's. If you're looking for some, I would definitely check out that space. But yeah, definitely simple in here, but I did want to show you the few touches I added for spring. Okay, that is my spring home tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you had any questions from my spring decorating video, I hope I answered your question. Of course, if you have any other questions, leave me a comment down below. I'm planning to decorate my front porch for spring here soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. I have a ton of good ideas that I can't wait to share with you guys. And also make sure to check out all of the ladies spring home tours that will be listed down below. They are all so talented at decorating. So you will be sure to get a ton of inspiration and also all the giveaway details will be down below so make sure you enter I would love to gift two of you a $175 shop credit to my friend Sky's house and home shop amazing decor over there her shop will be linked down below so you can check it out and I hope you have an amazing day thank you so much for watching my video and supporting my channel you mean so much to me and I will see you in my next one bye guys <music>